Steve does the fast clothesline spin, follow your sonic boom in with a backhand. If he's dizzy after this, jump in and combo him. If not, back off and repeat the procedure. If Zangief jumps over your sonic boom, stand by to kick him out of the air with either a low forward or low roundhouse kick, or a jumping fierce. Tangle with me and you've got problems, dude. I'm fast, I've got a fireball, and my dragon punches take off loads of energy. My fierce dragon punch has an awesome reach. My jab dragon punch gets me out of tough up-close situations. Jump at me, man, <laughs> you'll be hit for sure. Plus, I got a hurricane kick that puts me right where I want to be. Close enough to do some major damage. <laughs> Offense or defense, I'm gonna be in your face. Although it looks like a single move, Ken's fierce double dragon punch is really two moves in one and is one of the building blocks of many Ken and Rue combos. Get as close to your opponent as possible. Press a high fierce punch, then immediately follow with a dragon punch hitting the fierce button. You'll be able to hit larger characters four times and smaller characters three times with this combo. Jump at your opponent with a late fierce. As soon as you're standing, hit the fierce button again then immediately do a jab dragon punch. This combination should be good for three or four continuous hits, but does not work on Chun-Li, Blanca, E. Honda, or Bison. Jump at your opponent, hitting this precise spot at the back of the head. Then, pressing the low forward kick button, immediately follow with a hurricane kick. If timed correctly, no character can counter your short kick strategy. After knocking down a character, get in close and at the precise moment that your opponent rises, kick him with a high short kick, then a low short kick, followed by a dragon punch. Here's what happens if your opponent tries to do anything but block this combo. This is affectionately known as the mother of all cheat moves. After you knock your opponent down, you must hit this exact spot on the neck with the roundhouse button. Press the high jab as soon as you land, then almost at the same time, activate your throw. Thinking that you missed with your jab, your adversary won't be expecting your throw. You can also jump behind the neck with the roundhouse, deliver a standing forward kick, kneeing your opponent, then throw your adversary to the ground. This is a strategy used specifically against Dalsim. As Ken, you have an ideal fighting distance which allows you to do some damage while canceling out Dalsim's considerable reach advantage. Once you get to this distance, press a low short kick which effectively cancels out all of Dalsim's attacks except one, the jumping drill. If he tries that move, use your dragon punch. You can use the arc of Ken's Dragon Punch uppercut, which is wider than Ruse or Sagat's, to your advantage. When they jump you, you can cover more distance than they can. Always keep an eye on the distance, knowing that your Dragon Punch can be a devastating weapon. Quickness and reach are not my only advantages. My improved whirlwind kick enables me to charge in the air and begin my kick when bouncing off the wall. Now my higher whirlwind kick will foil the traps and snares set by my foes. My fireball will keep enemies off balance and my lightning kick will send many an arch enemy to the land of his ancestors. This move will only work on taller characters and may require some practice. But when it's done correctly, it can inflict heavy duty damage. Jump at your opponent, hitting him with a late fierce. 
Then almost at the same time as you hit with a high fierce punch, tap the short kick button as fast as you can to activate Chun-Li's lightning kick. Again, this is a combo for larger characters only. Jump at your opponent with a late fierce, then hit the low forward kick button and a high fierce punch, all in one continuous motion. Here's what it looks like in real time. Jump at your opponent with a late fierce, then press a high strong punch, immediately followed by a low forward kick. Here's the replay. Chun-Li's Whirlwind Kick now has a one second charge time so that you can charge through the air and go into the Whirlwind Kick from a wall bounce. If you wait half a second more before pressing the kick button, you'll be able to do your kick even higher than before. This move is good for at least two continuous hits against big characters and is guaranteed to cause a fair amount of damage. After you knock your opponent down, get as close as you can and hit the low forward kick button. It is important that you do this kick at the exact moment that your opponent gets up. If the kick connects, finish your foe with a high fierce punch. Great game, Tomo. Thanks. You're getting better. Thanks. That's because along with all these great strategies, Tomo's taught me a method called the TDR. Timing, distance, and reactions. You need to pay attention to timing. By that I mean the timing of your attacks and counters. You need to know your distances. Know what moves will counterattack from a given distance. Once you got the timing and distance down, you can concentrate on the R. Reaction. You need to develop reflexes so that you can react to what your opponent does automatically. So in other words, you have to practice to the point where the moves and combinations are second nature. So you can go beyond the technique and study the psychology of your opponent. Right, right. Then you can psych your opponents out with stuff you know they won't be expecting. You know, the same thing I'm always doing to you. I'm starting to hate this guy. Don't worry. This tape is going to give you tons of psych out strategies. I'm starting to like this guy. Okay, so I am not exactly what you might be calling a speed demon. I am a wrestler by nature. Good at what you might be calling getting up close and personal. <laughs> My spinning clothesline gets the results. And of course, all I need is to grab you once. Once you get a taste of my spinning pile driver, you are what you might be calling uh, Kaputsky. Jump at your opponent, and while in mid-air, press down on your joystick and hit the fierce button. Immediately execute a low, short kick, then simultaneously press any two kick or punch buttons to start your spinning or turbo spinning clothesline. After knocking your opponent down, get as close as possible and jump pressing your joystick down and the fierce punch button to get behind the neck. Then press two low continuous jabs and immediately perform a spinning pile driver. This works on big characters. Go behind the neck with the fierce punch button while pressing down on the joystick. When you land, deliver a high, strong punch, then a low roundhouse kick in one continuous sequence. Here's the playback in real time to show it better. You can mastermind this clever Zangi fakeout by hitting two punch buttons simultaneously to start the slow spinning clothesline. 
Your opponent knows that this makes you vulnerable from below the belt. But just before his 